It is a very big day. I'm trying on wedding dresses today for the first time. I'm so excited to finally try on wedding dresses and hopefully today I find my wedding dress. I, I just don't even know what to expect. I'm so excited. I have two appointments today at two different bridal boutiques and they're in the Orlando area. I don't know if the second one, I have the whole place to myself basically. And I don't know if this is how it always works. I've never been to a bridal boutique. I've never been in a wedding. I've never like done this before for someone else. Obviously not for myself either, but I've never experienced, I've never gone through this experience before. So I don't know if this is how it normally is but I am so excited and I'm gonna vlog as much as I can. Hopefully I can take videos in the boutique. If not, I will try and get as much footage as I can for memories. I'm obviously not gonna share, if I do pick a dress, I'm obviously not gonna share the dress that I end up picking, but I'm so excited because the first boutique has a dress that I've been looking at and I just can't wait. The appointment is in about 40 minutes and I'm gonna put on a dress. I think I'm gonna wear a white dress to the appointment and maybe some kitten heels or just sandals to keep it, you know, casual. But I'm going with some of my bridal party. A lot of my other bridesmaids don't live in town. So I'm going with some of my bridal party, my sisters, my niece, who my niece is a bridesmaid. I'm actually asking her to be my bridesmaid. She's my last person to ask and family dynamic is weird but i do have a niece who is three years younger than me and i have an older sister who's over 20 years older than me same with a brother and my brother's wife is coming my older brother so my dad was married first had kids and then they divorced he met my mom had me so i have a lot of siblings i have a nephew that's actually older a year older than me a year and a half older than me so yeah, but my niece will be my bridesmaid and we grew up together. We were always at each other's houses with my younger sister. Like I would not have it any other way. So I'm so excited to ask her today and she's gonna be there with her mom, my sister-in-law, and then my sister, like half sister. And my full sister who is my maid of honor, Erin. And yeah, so I'm gonna change. My friend Maya is coming over and we're gonna drive together. And then I think we're gonna do dinner after all the appointments. Yeah, this is just such an exciting day. I've been like kind of emotional all week. Not, I don't wanna make it like this sappy thing, but just like these moments I like miss my mother and I'm wondering if that will ever get easier throughout this process, throughout these big moments. But just a little bit of me cries because I wish she was here, but she's she's just not and it's, it's upsetting. I have a great support system, a great family, and I'll probably be sending photos to my dad too because we're obviously gonna do like a first look on the wedding day and stuff, but I don't think he'll remember the, the photos that I sent him or anything. So anyways, I feel really lucky to have a great group of people coming with me and I'm so excited to bring you all along too. So I'm gonna change. I'll share my outfit before I leave and I hope that I find my wedding dress today. Outfit for the appointment. This is what I went with. I thought I would fit the part and wear a white dress too. I got this dress from Aritzia. I have it in two colors, black and white, and I love it. I think it has a great neckline and it's the perfect summer dress. You can dress it up or dress it down with sneakers. I'm wearing these heels from Amazon. They are Tony Bianco dupes. I'm almost positive and they were like around, if not under $50. I have this tan bag and then very minimal jewelry. I didn't want to mess around with that. So this is the fit for the appointment. I'm so excited. Maybe I will find my wedding dress today.
It's the next morning. I just made breakfast. It looks a little sad. I wish I had avocado, but I went to go cut into it and it was not good. So I did hash brown, a runny egg, and some of this hot honey on top and I thought that would be good. And I have been loving this chicken sausage for breakfast that I got last weekend from Costco. It's really good. So I made some of that too. I just wanted to share because it has really good ingredients, add some extra protein, no sugar. I got them from Costco and I froze some of them and I left some of them in the fridge for breakfast. And then I think I'm gonna have some for breakfast throughout the work week. Anyways, I'm gonna eat this, finish my coffee, do some laundry, and then I'll pick up the camera in a little bit to kind of explain yesterday. I just made the deposit on my wedding dress and I'm so excited. I cannot believe that I found my wedding dress yesterday. <laughs> the story was, I know I fell off vlogging yesterday. I only ended up going to one appointment. I canceled my second appointment because I found the dress that I will end up wearing on my wedding day. And I was very scared going into the wedding dress shopping process if you're a bride or if you've been a bride, I feel like there's so many horror stories that I see on TikTok online of wedding dress shopping. And so I was a little bit nervous. What I pictured for myself as a child is not what I ended up picking for my wedding dress. I always had this envision in my mind and then as the time came and I started looking for dresses after getting engaged, it completely changed what I wanted and I found what I wanted, exactly what I was looking for. I had photos saved of multiple styles of dresses, specific designers that I really, really loved. Um, some designers were obviously just not attainable or realistic. Here in Orlando, they don't obviously don't carry every single designer, but I was really hopeful for these appointments because they had the exact dresses that I was looking for that were on my list. Um, the first appointment that I went to was at the Bridal Finery, and that's where I ended up finding my dress. I actually canceled my second appointment because I just knew that there was no way that I could walk out of that shop without this dress. By the way, if you're a bride, live in Orlando, near Orlando, and you're looking for a good bridal shop, I highly, highly recommend the Bridal Finery. The second that I walked in the door, I instantly felt comfortable. I believe the shop owner, Tolly, I believe that's how you pronounce her name, she helped me find my dream wedding dress, and I am just so grateful. She made me feel so comfortable. The second that we tried on a dress, if I didn't want to show it, she was like instantly reading my body language, she was asking me how I felt before I opened the curtain. Like she was just so conscious and considerate of me and how I felt and what I wanted, what I liked, what I disliked. It was the best process ever. I ended up going with the dress that the second dress that I put on. My face instantly lit up when I put on the dress. The second that I put it on, I could just see myself putting it on again on my wedding day. And it was just like a feeling unlike any other. I just felt like it was the perfect dress. I would not change a single thing about the dress. Every other dress that I tried on, which I only did try on five, I think, but it was like a really easy process for me. And I know for some people it's challenging. I think just getting clear on what you want, looking to see if the certain bridal shops have what you want is very important. I also wish I could do a video of wedding dresses I tried on but didn't buy, but I didn't even try on a lot. It wasn't like a long experience. Like the second that I put on that dress, I just didn't want to take it off. And I'm just so, I'm so excited. It's the most stunning dress I've ever seen in my entire life. And I can't wait to wear it on my wedding day. And I think Christian's going to love it. And I, I absolutely love it. So I did end up canceling my second appointment. I just knew that I couldn't walk out that door without having this dress. I like tried it on, didn't want to take it off. Finally took it off, tried on some other dresses and then ended up putting it on, said yes. I just, I was like holding back tears. I did want to cry, but I didn't want to be super emotional. It is like such an emotional, fun, exciting experience. And it was just 
the best day ever and I had the best group of girls with me, some my bridal party, some friends that I've had for just over 10 years. My sisters were there, my niece. It was just the best experience ever. I have such a great support system and I just feel so, so lucky and I'm so excited to share my dress with you all when the day comes, but I try to include as many clips as I can. I know I have some clips with the dress on and I haven't decided if I'm gonna include those and like blur it or like completely block off the, the bottom half so you can't see. Yeah, it was the absolute best experience Ever, and I was very nervous about it. I just didn't know for sure how it would go. So I'm very excited. But so check that off my list. Dress is ordered, the deposit is made, and um, they have an in house seamstress. So I think my dress will arrive around December and then they start taking it in and adjusting it eight weeks out. So I'm gonna have my sister go with me to one of my appointments. I'm gonna decide from there if I wanna do hair up, hair down, or a mix of both. Um, I do need to go through makeup and hair trials, which I'm obviously gonna do before eight weeks out. When I do the trials, which I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start doing next month or in September, I'm going to have them do two separate styles or see if there's a way for them, if things were to happen, if it's windy, because my um, ceremony is outside and if it is windy i would like an option to maybe put my hair up even though i don't love love my hair up um i just know that i don't want it in my face so i'm gonna maybe see if they can do two separate hairstyles i'm pretty certain that i want to do curled and or like up in like a low bun with some pieces hanging out and then makeup i'm not doing hollywood glam but i am having someone do my makeup for my wedding day not for my rehearsal dinner i don't think i'm okay with doing my own makeup for that but I do not want to worry about doing my makeup on my wedding day. I want it to be just a seamless process. So I just had a call with my wedding planner last week and we're going through florals and DJ lighting. My lighting dreams were kind of crushed um, this past week, but it's fine. Some things just aren't doable and it makes sense and you can't have everything you want and that's totally okay but it's just so crazy hearing the price for certain things as simple as lights um so we're figuring out florals next dj some lighting and then decor pieces i guess i'm gonna have some calls with some florists and get all that figured out i'm so excited but they did give me a goodie bag this is like a good grocery bag so I'm excited i need to put this in my car so i can use it for my groceries and then they gave a hundred dollar off coupon for a suit so i'm gonna give this to christian so you can check it out here's my receipt they gave like a little notebook which i think will be fun to use for like my wedding planning calls because i kind of just write it down on a random piece of paper and rip it out of my notebook a lot of them a lot of my wedding planning calls are during the week so i do them on my lunch break at work so I kind of just like take my work notebook and then I just rip out paper. So it kind of be nice to put this in like my work bag so I can take notes during the calls and they're all kind of in one spot instead of all on sticky notes and random pieces of paper. But I did also get something else and I think they give this when you purchase from this designer. So I'm gonna keep the designer a secret for now. I think this is what they give to all the people. I think this is from the designer, but and then I haven't opened this yet. It's so pretty. Hide the designer name. It's a really pretty scarf. This is so gorgeous. Tons of different fruit and flowers on it. Wow, this is stunning. But anyways, I just wanted to talk about my experience yesterday. I know I fell off from vlogging. I was just so, so excited, so in the moment. It was the best day. Um, I was a little nervous, but after it, picking the dress, I was just in like a bubble of happiness on a high. We went to lunch after. I went and saw my sister's new apartment that she moved to. Then I came back home and I just kept looking at photos of the dress and of me trying the dress on. And I'm just so excited about it. I just felt like it was made for me. Checking that off the list and on to the next. We are officially eight months out from the wedding today. Officially eight months out. So I'm gonna grocery shop get the day going a little bit more. I finished all my laundry already. I just changed my battery, but I'm gonna go to the grocery store. I think we're doing cowboy caviar for meal prep this week. 
and last week we had our boring meal prep rotation we have a couple like staple boring meal prep meals that are like very affordable barely cost anything and they're just good to kind of like mix in and they don't require much prepping much cooking many ingredients so we have a lot of those staples that i like to throw in last week was a boring one next week i am not meal prepping because and i haven't mentioned this at all and i don't know why but four months ago my family decided to plan another trip out to harbor island the bahamas and we went two years ago and i took christian for the first time and we're going again in two weeks and i am so excited so grateful it's my favorite place in the absolute world i grew up going there during the summer for as long as i can remember it was my mom's favorite place and we actually spread her ashes there eight summers ago now we spread our ashes there so it's been nine years this fall since she passed and i can't believe how much time has passed um so many amazing things and yesterday was just another thing that i wish she was here for and she was i felt her but sometimes it's hard regardless i am very grateful for my family and my dad my friends the support system that i do have i just do and will always wish that she was here too to experience these moments with me physically but I know that she's here spiritually. Like I just know that she's always around. It's just hard sometimes. And I just wanted to speak on that because it has been hard, but it's still been the best process ever. And I know that she's here. So um, on a lighter note, <laughs> I'm gonna go to the grocery store, meal prep to get my Sunday going. And yeah, I'm really grateful for this whole entire experience my life and just absolutely everything. I truly feel like the luckiest person ever. And I just don't know how I got so lucky with the people in my life and just literally everything. I just, I can't, I don't even know. I don't even know, but grateful for you all too. Um, I just receive the nicest comments all the time. The nicest DMs always. You make it truly so fun and you bring a lot of joy to my life with all the kindness and i'm just grateful to have you all here as well so anyways i'm gonna get on with my day i just washed all of the fruit and vegetables for the week i'm doing cowboy caviar for meal prep so this is part of that i want to make a green juice but with my blender so i washed some veggies for that cherries and then cilantro for the cowboy caviar so i'm gonna make my green juice because i want to sip on that while I chop vegetables, but I have the rest of the ingredients for the cowboy caviar over here. And then I also got a rotisserie chicken. I'm gonna shred this up because we're gonna use it for dinner tomorrow. And then I think we'll have leftovers from that dinner to have it on Tuesday. It's like a one skillet, shredded chicken, rice, black beans, salsa. It kind of goes along with the Mexican cowboy caviar theme, but I think we'll be really good. I haven't tried it yet. But you cook it all in a pot, add salsa. You can eat it with like chips and a wrap if you want. Lettuce wraps or eat it as is because it is rice and you can add avocado, whatever you want. So we're gonna do that. So I got a rotisserie chicken. So I'm gonna shred it tonight so I don't have to do it tomorrow after I work out. Usually when I get home and I work out, we don't really eat dinner until about 7.30 or 8. So at that point in the day, like the last thing I wanna do is have a very time consuming dinner. So I'm gonna chop it up tonight, shred it, so it's ready to go for tomorrow. Here is the green juice recipe that I saw on TikTok actually. And you can add like mango, pineapple, whatever you want to it, but this is just the base. So it's two stalks of celery. I thought these were kind of small, so I added another one. A cucumber, the juice of a lime, a green apple, a cup of spinach, a half a cup of water, and then, like I said, you can add mango, pineapple, whatever you want to it. This is just the base. I have this frozen ginger that I'm probably gonna add to. I'm gonna use my Vitamix, and it's gonna be like a juice consistency, but with all the fiber from the fruits and veggies. Mm -hmm. 